Good afternoon, fellow Plexers. I have a fresh install of Windows 11 on a 9th gen small HP ProDesk, a G600 PC. And we're going to download and install Windows Fresh. So you want to get it right from Plex's um, website. Just search Plex Downloads. You'll have this link. It'll lead you here. Ignore Get It From Microsoft and choose your distribution. I've already downloaded it, so I'll open up the file manager, go to Downloads, and I can just right click and choose Open, and go ahead with the install. Let me get rid of everything else. We'll make this full screen. It won't go full screen. I'll click Next. Do not change where you store your install files at. Leave everything default. So while that's installing, let me show you what I've got prepped on this install. If I go to this PC, this is the boot drive. It's an NVMe drive. I have a folder someplace, Plex Media NVMe boot, and I've got library files and media here. I have another SATA SSD installed in this system and on that I have some TV show library folders. And last but not least I have a USB drive plugged in and under Plex Media I have some music, not much but a little bit of music here. So I can show you library creations on the boot drive, on another internal drive, and on a USB drive. Alright, so we're going to finish by launching Plex. So I'll continue with email to sign into my normal Plex account. And at this point, I'm going to pause the video and find my password. All right, let's sign in. I won't remember on this system. And at this point, I'll have to pin in. And I have multiple servers running, only one real one and a bunch of test ones. So at this point, it's trying to connect to the same server that I had installed on a different hard drive on this system under Ubuntu, and it's not finding it. So let me pause again. Okay, I got in. I had two attempts. I was going to use the local host option or the direct IP. And this is not the direct IP for my server, but I was going to fill the proper address in to try it. So using the local host, I was able to bring the new server up. I'll click got it. I'll name this one Windows 11 63. Now let's do it dash six three. Actually, let's shorten that to win. Win eleven six three. I think I already have a port forwarded for this IP address of this system, so I'll I'll leave this checked. And I will add my first library. Remember, we're going to add libraries from three different locations. This first one, I'll add a couple movie libraries from the boot drive. Then I'll add a couple TV show libraries from the next internal drive. 
And then I'll add just a tiny music library from the USB drive. So movies, next, browse for media. On the C, let's see where we need to go. And I don't use Windows, so right here, I went too far. I use a sort folder for different movie libraries, and I'll add my main movie library, click Add. And as I always show, I click the Advanced tab. Everything is default with, the, with this one exception. I make my minimum automatic collection size to, for two. Add library. Now we'll add a new library, another movie one. And this one will be movie documentaries. Browse for media again. Click the C. The Plex Media NVMe boot is where I have it. My movie library sort folder. The movie documentary library folder. There's only one movie in it. I'll click add. Again, we'll change the minimum automatic collection size to one. Add the library. And then we'll do a couple TV show libraries. And now this time I'm going to my next internal drive, which happened to be labeled the F drive on this install. So it's in the Plex Media, Media SATA SSD folder. Here's a library sort folder, and I'll add my main library folder. This is all public domain media. I will click Advanced, and everything should be left by default unless you happen to name from the TV DB database. So I'm going to pull episode order, excuse me, episode ordering from the TV DB. Now Plexus latest scanners uses metadata from both the TMDB and the TVDB for their TV show libraries. Plex uses the movie database and IMDB combined for their movie database. All I'm doing is choosing episode ordering from this database. The rest of the metadata comes mixed from both. We'll add the library. We'll add one more. Kids, next, browse my F drive, this folder, the library sort folder, and then the kids library folder. And again, I name from the TVDB, and in this, in this library is the Looney Tunes TV show, which doesn't exist at the movie database, so I need to change this setting. It's a virtual TV setting or TV series that's only in the movie database. Now we'll add that music library. And I know that's on the E drive, the USB one. Under Plex Media, Music, Music Main, and these three artists. And there's nothing I ever change with the advanced settings for a Plex music library. So if I hit next, I'm done. Now all my servers are going to show up by default here. So this is my normal server. This is one that I just shut down on the same hardware under Ubuntu. This is a test server on my older Synology NAS. This is a test server on my newer Synology NAS where my Plex Media happens to reside at. And this is my main server running on an 11th gen Unraid NUC, pointing back to my media on the newer Synology NAS. So I want to be in that server in the settings. And I want to, let's see, what do I want to do? Go to General, click Automatically Sign In, drop down and Save Changes. I also want to go to the transcoder setting and you can see I have a choice between these two, the older NVIDIA graphics card or the 
iGPU in the Intel processor, which I'll pick and I'll save changes. And then the last thing is because I've already forwarded the port for this, I can go to remote access, but it's going to show my public IP address. So I will do that off screen. Let me pause the video. Okay, I've applied the settings and now I have the green check mark so remote access is all set. So if I drop down to manage libraries, I can go into these libraries and take a look around. So, all these movies scanned in properly. This one documentary scanned in properly. There's only three TV shows. All the episodes are public domain. They scanned in properly. Specials in, in the first season. The kids TV show library. And again, this Looney Tunes listing is only at the TVDB. Now, if you did not want to change the library default settings to pull episode ordering from TVDB and you wanted to leave it at TMDB, you could add the media, scan it, and then to correct it, you would go to more. And let's, I'm sorry, no, you would, you would hit the edit and then go to advanced. And then you could change from the default library sorting episode sorting settings to some place here to the TVDB aired or even TVDB DVD order the movie database does not have a DVD order so you could use these options and once you made the change then you would go to the three dots and you'd refresh metadata and Plex would pull the metadata fresh again based on um, the changes you just made. So you don't really have to make that global setting, but because I name from the TVDB anyway for my TV shows, I just do it at the library level. And then lastly, we'll check out the USB drive with music. So this is a really quick install, um, a quick video. Install Plex, get it from Plex themselves. Grab the 64-bit. If you've had a previous server installed, you may have to try this local host trick. Um, if I was going to try the direct IP address, I'd have to find out the IP address of this system. And again, I'm not a, I'm not a Windows user. I gave up Windows with, with the version XP in 2006, so most Windows things is I'm rusty at. I spelled it wrong. I'm just typing IP config. So this is the IP address, and it would just be filled in here. And that should also pull up the server. But because I had the server previous installed on this IP address under Ubuntu, I think the local host is the only thing that would have worked. Oh, wrong spot. But now that the server's installed, I can get right in. And lastly, if you've never had multiple servers running before, there's really, there's really not much reason to do it. Um, well, I'm not in Linux anymore. Let me right click on this and choose Open Plex. So if you haven't run multiple servers before, you don't run a different version of, or a different instance of the web app 
you simply switch between servers here and you can pin libraries from multiple servers to home. So most of these libraries are from my main server, but if I drop down to more, you'd see these other servers along with the servers of a few friends who I'm connected to and who are connected to mine. But through the settings, pick your server, slide down to manage libraries, and you'll see the libraries. So if I wanted to see the libraries in my test server on my older Synology NAS, I could go in here and see those libraries. I'm using this, the, the same public domain media for all these test servers. Um, lastly, I don't know a lot about Windows, but from what I've read in the different forums, this can be run as a service, and I don't know how to change it over to a service, but for your first Windows install, this is just where it is. You can check for updates from the taskbar down here at the, at the bottom. Um, you can update libraries, and you can choose to start Plex Media Server at login. So I just unchecked that option, and now I'm checking it. So that's it, quick and dirty, Windows 11 install. And I've got to get this video to a certain somebody because the local host login may fix an issue he's having. Thanks for watching.